What does it really mean when a top secret piece of data that has guarded China for 44 years is suddenly made public? When the core parameters of the DF 5 intercontinental missile were disclosed in full for the first time on June 2, 2025, by CCTV's Little Central Video, a total length of 32.6 meters, a bullet diameter of 3.35 meters, a takeoff weight of 183 tons, a maximum range of 12,000 kilometers a hitting accuracy of 500 meters, and the ability to carry a 3-4 million tons of TNT-yield nuclear warhead, the veil of mystery that had long shrouded China's nuclear deterrent was lifted. Nuclear warheads of 3 million to 4 million tons of TNT equivalent, the veil of secrecy that has long shrouded China's nuclear deterrent has been lifted. This set of precise figures put an end to the previous, about, May, and other vague expressions, but also triggered global attention as China's first generation of intercontinental strategic missiles, DF-5 since its service in 1981, its performance parameters have always been the country's top secret, and today, 44 years later, when it is fully displayed in front of the world, the strategic signals contained in the back of the data itself is far from being able to summarize. Retrospectively, the birth of DF-5 is a national epic to break the nuclear monopoly of the superpowers. In March 1965, in the Earth-to-Earth -Earth Missile Development Plan, formulated under the auspices of Chan Shuesen, the Dongfeng V was listed as the core target of the eight-year, four-bomb program. The road of development is full of thorns, and stable liquid fuel formula leads to engine combustion shock. The corrosion resistance of the body material is insufficient to affect the structural strength. The precision of the guidance system is difficult to meet the needs of intercontinental flight. 1,971 September's first test launch due to uneven fuel consumption leads to trajectory deviation. The scientific research team after 10 years of struggle, through the collaboration of 178 units of the breakthroughs, and finally solved the problem of stability of the second-stage liquid rocket motor in 1978. 1980, the Dongfeng V was listed as the core target of the eight-year four-bomb program. On May 18, 1980, the flames rose on the Gobi beach of Jiuquan base, and the missile carrying the nation's heavy trust crossed six time zones and accurately splashed down in the predetermined waters of the South Pacific Ocean. Escorted by an ocean-going survey fleet of 18 ships, China successfully recovered the data capsule, which symbolized the status of a great power, against the approaching surveillance of Western warships. At this moment, China became the third country after the United States and the Soviet Union to master ICBM technology. At the height of the Cold War's nuclear cloud, the DF-5 put an end to the history of nuclear blackmail and its 12,000-kilometer range was like the Sword of Damocles, hanging over the heads of its rivals, laying the cornerstone of the Great Power's strategic balance. Although the use of liquid fuel requires hours of refueling time, the response time is not as fast as the new solid missiles, but this, veteran, has an irreplaceable strategic value. Its huge body structure gives unparalleled carrying capacity, 183 tons of takeoff weight carrying more than 3 tons of payload, far more than the U.S. Trident IID-5 submarine-launched missiles, the upper limit of 2.8 tons. It is this unique advantage that makes the DF-5 an excellent platform for carrying guided multiple warhead technology. After several transformations of evolution, DF-5B can carry four to six missile warheads, and DF-5C has been confirmed to have a bomb 10 head of the horror of the ability. When the missile through the atmosphere, the fairing is a blooming steel flower-like separation, Subwarhead group to more than Mach 20 speed for maneuvering orbit, the release of the decoy shells to form a sky, metal rain, so that the anti missile system's radar screen instantly filled with hundreds of targets. This saturation suppression makes the interception system completely ineffective. A missile can cover a strike range of 600,000 square kilometers, equivalent to the entire territory of France. The 500 meter hit accuracy disclosed by CCTV is revolutionary in the nuclear deterrence system. There is a disruptive formula in the field of nuclear strikes. When accuracy is increased by a factor of 10, the destructive effectiveness will surge by a factor of 100, while simply increasing the yield by a factor of 10 will only increase the effectiveness by a factor of about 1.9. This explains why modern nuclear strategy has shifted from the pursuit of megaton-sized, high-yield single warheads to the development of guided multiple warhead technology. The 500-meter accuracy of the DF-5 is in the same order of magnitude as that of contemporary U.S. and Russian products, slightly inferior to the 350-meter accuracy of Russia's. Poplar M, and the 120-180-meter accuracy of the U.S. Minuteman III in its later stages, 
but as China's first-generation intercontinental missile, it is already a historic breakthrough. More critically, the accuracy of the improved DF-5B has broken the 100-meter threshold. In conjunction with split-missile warhead technology, it has gained the ability to accurately destroy hardened military facilities. Even missile silos that can resist 3,000 psi of overpressure will be reduced to pieces by the precision hits of hundreds of thousands of tons of equivalent warheads. In the DF-41 and other new solid missiles have realized road mobility today. DF-5 long-term service contains the deep wisdom of the great powers of nuclear deterrence. Behind this phenomenon of veterans do not die is a delicate strategic balance. Solid missiles cost more than $200 million each, while the mature liquid missile production line can maintain the size of the nuclear arsenal at one-third of the cost. Well-based launch with early warning, that is the ability to launch in the detection of enemy missiles, can be carried out within three minutes of the liftoff of counterattacks. The rapid response mode is the most important element of nuclear submarine and nuclear missile defense. The rapid response mode is beyond the reach of nuclear submarines and motorized launch vehicles. The 18 reinforced silos spread across the desert constitute a strategic deception system, forcing the adversary to consume dozens of nuclear warheads to carry out coverage strikes, greatly dispersing its offensive firepower. It is this dual structure of maneuvering plus silo launching that gives China's nuclear deterrent system its resilience and survivability. Through the starable liquid fuel technology to shorten the refueling time to 30 minutes with a composite armored silo that can withstand a direct hit of 500,000 tons of equivalent, the 44-year-old veteran in the information war is still renewed. The sudden disclosure of the core parameters at this time is a strategic declaration of China's upgrading of its nuclear forces. The declassification of military equipment follows an ironclad rule. When data on a certain type of weapon is released to the public, it often means that it has been relegated to the sidelines and a more advanced system is already in place. This rule was already foreshadowed in the September the 25th, 2024 test launch in the Pacific Ocean, China's second test launch of an intercontinental missile into the Pacific Ocean after 44 years, when the Pentagon gave it the rare rating of technological maturity exceeding expectations, and the fierce reaction of the Taiwan authorities reflected its deterrent effect. Combined with the analysis of satellite images of a new silo cluster in the northwest, China's land-based nuclear power is experiencing a qualitative leap, a new generation of silo missiles with a range of more than 15,000 kilometers, which can avoid anti-missile monitoring via the Arctic ballistic trajectory. The warhead carries an active radar guidance system, which is capable of maneuvering and changing trajectory in the final stage at hypersonic speeds. More revolutionary is the adoption of the concept of multimodal deployment, which allows for compatibility between a silo, a road motorized platform, and a railroad missile train for a single missile. The same missile can be compatible with silos, road maneuvering platforms, and railroad missile trains. 44 years ago, the flames of DF-5 broke through the dawn of Jiuquan. Supporting a nuclear umbrella for a nation that has experienced many vicissitudes, 44 years later, when its secrets were turned into public data, the world witnessed not only a weapon's parameters, but also the sublimation of a great power's strategic philosophy. From the difficult research on liquid fuel to the perfect mastery of guidance technology, from kilometer-level precision to 100-meter-level leap, this development history spanning half a century reflects the transformation of China's nuclear power, from solving the problem of availability, to the pursuit of the ultimate. Nowadays, the launching well on the Gobi Beach still stands in silence, but what is guarded in the well may be a new generation of national important weapon. When the guardian of 44 years goes to the spotlight to give his curtain call, there must be a younger sword quietly sheathed in the shadows. In the eternal chess game of nuclear deterrence, the strongest shield is always hidden in the unsheathed blade of the sword.